Hello students, so this is the video for quantitative estimation of phosphorus. So, if organic compound contain phosphorus, what we do for its quantitative estimation, we heat this compound in presence of fuming HNO3. Fuming HNO3 is an oxidizing compound. It converts the phosphorus which is present in organic compound into H3PO4, which is also referred as orthophosphoric acid or phosphoric acid. Now, this phosphoric acid or phosphorus present in orthophosphoric acid then treated with either first method that is magnesia. When we treat S3PO4 with magnesia, it is converted into MgNH4PO4 and when this compound is ignited or heated, what will happen? It is converted into Mg2P2O7 and we will get the mass of this compound. Suppose the mass of this compound obtained is x1 now very important part is that the magnesia is not uh, mentioned in means the mixture uh, this mixture is called magnesia it is not mentioned in uh, textbook so we have to know about it magnesia is magnesium chloride ammonium chloride and ammonium hydroxide so when these three compounds that is magnesium chloride ammonium chloride and ammonium hydroxide mixture is given we called it magnesia so when S3PO4 react with this, it forms MgNH4PO4. Now here it is plus 1, plus 2 and minus 3. So it is neutralized. So it is MgNH4PO4. Magnesium ammonium phosphate. And when it is heated, it is converted into Mg2P2O7. That is X1 gram is suppose obtained. Now very important part is its molar mass is 2 to 2 grams. So as I have you told that this phosphorus which is present in organic compound is coming to this this phosphorus then coming to this this phosphorus then coming to this it means this is actually the conservation of phosphorus so we can uh, say it as a atomic conservation of phosphorus or mass conservation of phosphorus so if we apply the mass conservation of phosphorus the phosphorus which is present in organic compound is completely shifted to the phosphorus in Mg2P2O7. So just see this particular compound, one mole of this compound contains two moles of phosphorus atom. So 222 gram of this compound contain how much phosphorus? Phosphorus atomic weight is 31 gram. So it contains 62 gram. Therefore, one gram contain this much gram. And therefore, X gram contain this much. So this X is coming from organic compound. So the phosphorus which is present in organic compound divided by M is the mass of organic compound given in 200 is phosphorus percentage. So this is the first concept. The second one is this orthophosphoric acid is reacted with ammonia and ammonium molybdate. When this compound react with orthophosphoric acid, it forms a yellow PPT and that yellow PPT is then weight. This yellow PPT is ammonium phosphomolybdate. Now this is very important students. Why? Because here it is O4 and here it is O3 plus this particular stoichiometric coefficient is 12 in ammonium phosphomolybdate. So this can be asked in examination. Now suppose X gram of this compound is obtained. So just like the previous uh, concept, in this also the phosphorus present in only one mole of this compound contain how much phosphorus? Only P. Its molar mass is 1877 gram. And therefore, if 1877 grams of this ammonium phosphomolybdate contain how much phosphorus? Only one, that is 31 grams. And therefore, one gram of this compound contain 31 divided by 1877. And therefore, X1 gram contain 31, 1877 into X. So this is the phosphorus which is present in organic compound. Now, the amount of phosphorus divided by the mass of organic compound multiplied with 100 is the percentage of phosphorus. So, these are the two methods by which we can find out the percentage of phosphorus in organic compound. Thank you.